All right, guys, so let's talk about picking up girls. Now, my opinion on picking up girls has changed dramatically over the past several months. I used to be a game guy, right? I read the book, The Game. I listened to countless hours of pickup artist podcast. I watch pickup artist videos on YouTube. My game was actually really good. I even had certain routines that I would say to girls. Now, this is fine, especially for the guy who's this shy guy and needs just this little extra edge to even be able to talk to girls. But the issue with it is that it is very surface level. You can go to an extremely deeper level and have so much more fulfilling results. Game is simply a fake it till you make it mentality. It gives you these tips, these tricks, these mindsets, these lines that give this illusion of confidence. And to the girl, you appear confident when in fact you're really not. You're just relying on these tips and tricks and on the inside you're still nervous and you're afraid to express yourself. Now you can get to a deeper level where there is no fear of expression. All fear goes away. You are completely vulnerable. You are completely willing to be yourself. Now, again, the self is an illusion. The ego is all an illusion, right? We are all always acting at any time. We put on a different act when we see our family. We put on a different act when we're by ourselves. We put on a different act when we are with a girl. But the key is, to always fully express yourself. Express yourself in any way you want. That is what is being your true self in the human form, is expressing whatever you want to express. Usually when we go up to a girl, we have a filter. We are afraid to say what is on our mind. And this can come across as not only insincere, but even creepy. A girl would rather interact with a guy who is free to express whatever is on his mind because that makes her feel safe. If she's interacting with a guy that makes her feel like he's hiding something, she'll be afraid. She'll become less attracted. You have to realize as guys, we don't fear social interactions with girls from a survival standpoint. Right now, technically all fear comes from the fear of death. All fear is for survival, but we don't think, oh, I could be in real danger if I approach this girl and talk to her. Girls on the other hand, they are. They have to worry about bad things happening to them, right? So they have to be careful. So if you express yourself fully, it makes a girl feel a lot more safe. Now, once you are talking to a girl, once she has some basic level of attraction, she finds you somewhat physically attractive, she's attractive enough to talk to you, you'll find that the only thing, the absolute only thing that's holding you two back from completely hitting it off, from having an incredible romantic encounter that day is her ego and your ego. That's absolutely it, right? Now, with the ego comes fear, with the ego comes uncomfortableness, with the ego comes this acknowledgement of societal constructs, right? And all these things are the only things that are holding the two people back. So, what is the best way to really hit off this romantic interaction? Well, it's to drop both her ego and your ego. It is to become pure humans in that moment. So how exactly do you go about doing this? You might be saying, Connor, well, if I completely drop my ego, if I express exactly what I want to express, I'm just gonna go up to the girl and be like, hey, let's go back to my place. Cause that's what's on my mind. Yeah, I get it, you're a guy, that's what's on your mind. Now, you can express whatever you wanna express, but you have to keep the golden rule in mind. Treat others the way that you would want to be treated. 
So you have to realize that in that moment when a girl is first getting to know you, she is a little nervous, she is a little afraid. And so doing something like that will just creep her out. So with that in mind, anything else you do can be a free form of expression. So let's talk about insecurities. One of the biggest things that holds two people back from showing each other their true nature is insecurities. Now, how do you get past these? Well, you simply become vulnerable. Now you have to do this in a socially calibrated way. You just don't go up to a girl and say, hey, this is my insecurity, right? The ego has to be gradually broken down, very slowly, right? She has to be gradually more and more comfortable. If you try and jump to a ego that is this low, the ego will reject it, right? And she will probably walk away. So the ego has to be gradually broken down. So the key is to become more and more vulnerable, to become more and more comfortable, right? To build a lot of comfort, but in a socially calibrated way. So you'll find that the biggest thing holding two people back from really getting comfortable with each other is insecurities. When you are talking to a girl, you are afraid of a lot of things. You have these insecurities. You're afraid of acting in a certain way. You're afraid that she might walk away if you say something that is unattractive. She has a lot of insecurities as well. She's worried if her makeup is put on correctly. She's worried if she's wearing the right outfit. She's worried about a lot of things as well. So how do you get past these insecurities? Well, you talk about them. When an insecurity is brought up, it fades away. So for example, and again, you can't just bring this up. You want to do so naturally in conversation, but, and again, I truly have no insecurities anymore, but I can talk about my old insecurities. I like to talk about how I got a hair transplant because I was insecure about my hair. Now, what this does, this makes the girl very comfortable. She's like, wow, he's really opening up. He's talking about his insecurities. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried about my insecurities. Then she will start to talk about her insecurities. You'll find that the ego is Major, the majority of the ego is just a giant ball of insecurities. And so you can even ask her, you know, what's something you're insecure about? And then she will bring it up. And the key is to create the most non-judgmental environment that you possibly can. And when you get to this level, this higher level state of consciousness, it's automatic. There is no judgment because you realize that there is a truer, deeper entity that's within every human beyond this surface level ego. And you don't judge the ego because the ego isn't necessarily the human's fault. It was a combination of all these traits that were given to them through their exposures to society. And they didn't really pick how they were exposed to society. So the key is to be completely non-judgmental. And in a completely non-judgmental environment, she will start opening up to you. And gradually, as you talk about your insecurities and become more and more vulnerable, the egos gradually drop. And remember, the only thing that's holding you two back from having an incredible romantic relationship is the ego. You'll find that one of the biggest reasons that keeps a girl from, you know, going to another place with you. Say you meet at a bar and you want to take her somewhere else, maybe away from her friends, maybe to a cool restaurant or something to eat. It's the ego that holds us back. The ego contains fear. So she's afraid that you could be dangerous. She's afraid what her friends will think, right? This is just this societal construct in her mind. And so lowering the ego gradually gets rid of all these fears. Now, what happens when the ego gets completely lowered? Well, some incredible things can happen. 
I've had the most incredible experiences with girls. I felt closer to girls after seeing them one day than I have dating a girl for a year. It's all about lowering the ego and being completely open and honest. You'll find that everyone deep down is the same. Every human just wants to be happy. Every human has these weird thoughts. Every human is very weird. We are just covering it up. We're just putting on this filter. And when you are completely open and honest, it's a breath of fresh air for a girl. Now, I've had some incredible experience. I want you to think of a romantic relationship, an intimate relationship between a guy and a girl where there are no insecurities involved. Usually, when you get to that level, when things start to get intimate, you're very insecure about a lot of things. You're wondering, oh, is she liking this? Am I going to do this long enough? What should I do next? You're experiencing this incredible source of pleasure, arguably the best source of pleasure in human existence, and yet you are suffering during it. You're having all these insecurities. Oh, am I doing this right? How does my physique look? And she is as well. She's having just as many insecure thoughts. Oh, am I in the right position? Is he liking this? Oh, it's been a long time. Am I sure that he's liking this? And so you'll find that most of the time you participate in these intimate moments, both people are incredibly insecure and it takes away from the experience. You'll find that these intimate experiences can be so much better, can be absolutely incredible when all egos are lowered, when the ego is gone, when all insecurities fade away. When, if you can do this with a girl, if you can get to a point where all insecurities fade away, well, the intimate moment becomes incredible. It's pure pleasure. There's no suffering. There's no insecurities. In fact, it's almost as if both of you become one. There's no separation. When the egos are gone, if you could really tell this girl anything, if you could express literally anything that is on your mind, any thought that you have, you could actually just say. If you can get to that point, it doesn't even seem like there's a separate person. It seems like your consciousnesses become one. And let me tell you, intimate moments when consciousness becomes one is incredible. It's like you're having an intimate moment with yourself, just a female extension of yourself. Because if you can truly say and express anything that's on your mind, well, that is just being your true self. And again, by true self, the self is an, illusion, is an illusion, but it's just expressing anything that is on your mind. And it can be an absolutely incredible experience and she can feel the same thing. There doesn't feel like there's a separateness. The only thing that is giving this illusion of separateness between you and another human is the ego you'll find that all of consciousness is one. And this surface level societal construct is what gives this illusion of separateness. But when this you know, psychological construct is lowered and disappears, you realize that you are so similar to every human. And when you get to an extremely deep level, you start to realize that everything is just one. We are all the same consciousness deep down in the innermost part of the human. We are exactly the same. Our consciousness is exactly the same. My consciousness and your consciousness is identical. It is the same consciousness. It is all part of the bigger consciousness. And so you'll find that 
a extremely open and honest relationship can make you closer to awakening. It's an incredible thing. Two people who completely drop all insecurities and are completely their selves, completely expressing themselves, they can be awakened because they can realize that there is no separation. This is why Jesus talked about these deep, meaningful relationships. This is why the Bible, now this has been lost in translation, they think that we should do this thing called monogamy. Well, where did monogamy come from? Monogamy just came from the realization that a deep, deep, meaningful relationship can get you much closer to spiritual enlightenment because the separateness between two humans can fade away. Now, it got misinterpreted over time and you can realize that you can actually just do this with anyone, literally anyone. This love is not finite. It is infinite. So this is an incredible opportunity for all of us is to have these deep, meaningful relationships. You don't have to date a girl for a year to make this happen. With the proper inner mindset and practice, this can happen in a day. It's incredible. Now, most relationships today are simply not even close to this, right? The modern day relationship is extremely dishonest. You'll have a wife and a husband who have been married for 10, 20 years, but they still keep all these secrets from each other. Now, how can this be normal? It's incredible. This creates an incredible amount of stress and suffering. You are not expressing what you want to express to the person that you should be the most open with, your significant other. The significant other should, be, should become an extension of you. And by you keeping secrets, it's separating you. So the key is before you get 10, 20 years down the road, right up front, you completely express whatever you want to express. You don't have a filter besides the filter that is simply treating her the way that you would want to be treated. And some incredible things can happen. You will find that if you are completely open and honest and express whatever you want to express, your relationships will start to become incredible. You'll be able to maintain relationships. You'll be able to have multiple relationships. Remember, if you truly express what you want to express, well, as a guy, you probably don't want just one relationship. And this might seem difficult. How am I supposed to tell a girl that I want to see other girls? Well, you'll find that girls issue with this is the dishonesty behind it. And it's the illusion that they think that love is finite. So if you were just honest with them from the start, they would way rather date an honest man who is honest about wanting to see multiple girls than they would be dating a dishonest man who says that he would only see her. You'll find that when you completely drop your ego and are completely open and honest, she will believe you because she sees that you're expressing what you truly want to express. And then when you tell her that your love is truly infinite, that love is incredible, that each love is different, she will be okay with that. If she is this on this level, you'll find that there are a lot of really, really high egos in the world and this won't work for everyone. But remember, the entire world is waking up. The entire world is gaining in consciousness. And one day, this will all be a reality. All relationships will be incredible. All relationships will be free of ego. All relationships will be free of insecurities. It's just a matter of time. But I advise you to try this out because really getting deep and vulnerable and dropping all insecurities, dropping the ego with a girl 
can be an absolutely incredible experience. You guys think that you've experienced some great intimate moments with girls, but trust me, there is nothing that can compare to having an intimate moment with a girl where literally every insecurity is dropped, where you are in a pure state of bliss and relaxation with no mental suffering whatsoever. It's a completely new experience. So I hope this motivated you to get on this path to start working on having these incredible relationships with your significant others. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.